Hi, this is just a quick update on this uh, narrowboat situation. As you can see, it's still in the water. It's been a week now, so I'm just going to do a quick um, talk, only a few minutes, so I don't bore you, uh, to just to tell you what's going on at the moment. Right, this is an email that I got from somebody at the Canal River Rescue, River Canal and Rescue. They've shared this with Canal World, which um, that's how I first found out about it. Somebody sent it to me and they're going to send it out to towpath and all these canal river related magazines so basically what it says is it just starts off as the country continues to mop up from a series of storms and widespread flooding river canal rescue says a narrowboat pinned against bridge 30 north of barrow lock in the proctor's park area was due to record breaking flood water which dragged the boat and scaffold poles it used for mooring a further mile away from its location on the river saw yeah that's that's exactly what happened the RCR was called to assist after the fire brigade was unable to help. Now, I would think by that they're saying that um, the fire brigade were only called to save life, um, obviously save property. Um, they're not responsible for getting the boat out of, of the water. And then it says, Managing Director Stephanie Horton takes up the story. Now, this is what was printed in Canal World, which is online. There's a link to it in one of the comments uh, for you to read it yourself and it says it's around 8 30 a.m on 34th of january we were contacted and advised that the boat broke from its moorings in the middle of the night and was now resting against a bridge and at risk of capsize at the time yes it was resting against a bridge there was no risk of capsize the risk of capsize came when uh, as it explains in a previous video the water rose the boat rose with it and as the boat came down it uh, caught on the side of the bridge that's just going on to say about the gunwales on one side were underwater with the surrounding area. Um, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, health and safety concerns uh, prevented us from getting onto the boat and attaching ropes to it. Uh, there was nothing to attach them to. And other than the bridge, as everything was underwater. Then it goes on to say, liaising with the environmental agents and assessing the flood conditions, it was predicted that there would be a drop in water levels due later that afternoon. And speaking with the customer to highlight the risk and possibility of recovery, a four-man team was dispatched to the site to coincide with the drop in water levels. Now, all that's true. And then it says, as there were chains on the boat at the front and back, we used these to attach strops. And the plan was to use vehicles and park on the dry side of the adjoining fields and use winches to pull the vessel out of danger. Uh, goes on to say having set up the winches and the cables uh cables under tension pulling 10 tons of boat against the flow or under incredible tension and can potentially snap with the possibility of them flying in any direction yeah i've used turf oars before and um not seen many snap but they can snap if you've got too much pressure on them and that wire will fly out uh, what we used to do in the fire service was put what we call a salvage sheet a big canvas sheet across the wire and that was used as a dampener now, this is a bit I don't quite understand. It says, unfortunately, although levels were conducive, there were around 30 onlookers, and despite our best attempts to move them to a safe distance, they continued to edge forward, which hindered the operation. Well, people were gathered around looking. There was probably about 20, 25 people there. Now, they were looking, but all this time was spent with the people from River Canal Rescue trying to get a rope attached to the boat. Countless times the chap tried throwing a rope into the water for it to float down for someone on the bridge to hook it up. And then it says, our staff know that under no circumstances are they permitted to use winches to put people in danger. Quite right. And then it says, at one stage, we thought about calling the police to help us clear the site. Now, I've spoken to people who were down here, I've spoken to them this uh, week, and they said, yes, they heard the people from River Canal Rescue say, can you move away to that side, please? Which they did. They didn't hear them repeatedly say, can you move away? Anyway, it goes on to say, while trying to disperse the crowds and get them to move away from the working area, there was an unexpected surge in water levels. I don't know where that unexpected surge came from, however. And then it goes on to say, and within five minutes, the boat capsized. It all happened very quickly. And our frustration is that if we hadn't spent so long trying to move onlookers away, we might have winched the boat to safety before that water surge. 
So that's a bit that I'm trying to get my head around. The time taken was, as I say, them trying to get a rope attached to the boat or a line attached to the boat. Um, and from what they're saying is no winching took place. Look at the video, winching did take place. Yes, they might have only been winching and had it on the tension for around a minute, a minute and a half, probably two minutes. But on the video, you can hear someone whistling and that whistling is from the chap in the yellow coat telling them to stop winching. And the reason he's told them to stop winching is because the boat has dropped three or four inches and it's closer or under the waterline. So winching did take place. You can see that on the actual video. And the video that I've put up now with this will show you that winching took place and where I've zoomed it in to show you. People were asked to move away. They was asked to move away once because that's all it took. And again, look at this video and you can see where most of the people have gone to the opposite bank. So I don't know what River and Canal Rescue are trying to say here, what they're trying to point out, but the time taken was them trying to attach ropes. I didn't notice any water surge. I was there all the time. You can't see any water surge on the actual video. I'll leave it for people to make up uh, their own mind. However, let's crack on. Well, let's just go on to the GoFundMe. Thanks to everyone who has um, donated so far. It doesn't matter how much you uh, donate. Thank you. Um, there have been some comments, people saying, um, oh, why are we donating? You know, no one's forcing you to do it. If you want to do it, do it. If you don't, don't. But thanks to all those who have. One chap was wondering why he donated £10, it cost him £11.50. There is a tab on the GoFund button where you can agree, it's a voluntary thing, you can donate £1.50 as a cost towards them running their website. Um, it's your choice whether to do it or not. Uh, this chap says that uh, he, he didn't realise, but he's not going to donate again because it, it cost him £11.50 instead of £10. You know, I just don't know what to say there. Uh, thank you to all the uh, viewers in uh, United States um, and your comments. And also thanks everyone for watching and subscribing. We are going to try and get down during a week because I think by then there should be someone down here to sort this um, boat out. Right, this part of the audio is uh, voiceover that I've done at home. Uh, not sure what happened there. Got home, downloaded all my uh, bits and bobs and part of the video hadn't recorded. So what I was going to say was, we'll try and get down this week because they should be coming down to lift this boat out. They could have done it yesterday, Saturday or today, Sunday, because the road has been closed because Seven Trent were doing some work that was all booked in. This would have been the perfect time, but um, we'll see, we'll see what happens. Hopefully I can get down and film it when they come down to do the work uh, to lift this boat out and I shall try and uh, get it on for you. Okay, so that's all for now. Thanks so much for watching. Thank you for everyone who's subscribed and for the comments, and uh, we'll see you later. Bye-bye.